Have you ever had that strange feeling that something in your body isn't quite right, but you can't exactly explain what it is? Maybe a mild pain that comes and goes, discomfort after meals, persistent fatigue, or even small changes in your skin that you barely notice. Most of us, when we notice something like this, blame it on stress, diet, posture, or even the weather. And without realizing it, we go on with our lives, ignoring the signals our body is trying to send us. The problem is that often these signals can be the first silent cries of a much more serious issue, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. There's a type of cancer that's a true master at hiding, pancreatic cancer. It's silent, sneaky, and in most cases it's only discovered when it's already in an advanced stage. What makes it so dangerous is precisely the fact that its symptoms are so subtle and easy to mistake for common problems. But the good news is that if you know how to recognize the right signals, you can catch the disease early enough to have better chances of treatment. Later in this video, I'll reveal two extremely peculiar symptoms that almost no one associates with pancreatic cancer, but could make all the difference in detecting the disease early. So, pay attention because the last symptom I'll mention might surprise you. I'm Kenji Oshiro, this is the Global Health Guide channel, and here we talk about health in a simple and straightforward way. Subscribe now so you don't miss information that could literally save lives. To help illustrate, let's follow the story of Michael Harris, a 62-year-old man from the state of Georgia in the United States. Michael was always active. He walked almost every day, watched his diet, and got his routine checkups. But suddenly, he started feeling mild pain in the upper part of his abdomen, just below his ribs. At first, he thought it was just something he ate. He took an antacid, felt a bit better, and forgot about it. This is exactly the eighth symptom you need to know about. Mild abdominal pain that comes and goes without any apparent reason. Sometimes it appears after meals, other times during moments of stress, or even when you're at rest. It can be mistaken for indigestion, gastritis, or muscle discomfort. And what's even more deceptive is that many people notice the pain improves when they lean forward or lie on their side. The reason is simple. The pancreas is located behind the stomach, close to the spine. When a tumour starts to grow, it can press on nerves in the area, causing this sensation of pressure or diffuse pain. It's different from gastritis, which tends to burn, and different from gallbladder issues, which cause discomfort more on the right side of the abdomen. In more advanced stages, this pain can even radiate to the back, especially in the central region. In Michael's case, the discomfort became more frequent until he started noticing another strange change. His skin was slightly yellowish. And that brings us to the seventh symptom, jaundice. At first, the yellowish tone is so subtle that it goes unnoticed. Often it's only visible in natural light, especially in the eyes. Jaundice happens because a tumour, if located in the head of the pancreas, can block the bile ducts, preventing bile from reaching the intestines. Without this flow, Bilirubin builds up in the blood, giving the skin and eyes that yellowish colour. But it doesn't stop there. When bile doesn't flow normally, other changes start to appear. The urine becomes dark, like black tea. The stools become lighter, possibly greyish or even whitish. Digestion, especially of fatty foods, becomes slower and heavier. Michael, even while drinking water regularly, noticed his urine was darker than usual and he started to find the colour of his stools odd as they seemed different from normal. This brings us to the sixth symptom, persistent changes in urine and stools. When these changes last for weeks without any apparent reason, it's time to investigate. They indicate that something in the digestive system is preventing normal function, and in the case of the pancreas, it could be due to bile duct obstruction or a lack of digestive enzyme production. Another point to watch for is the fifth symptom, unexplained weight loss. Losing a few pounds might seem like a good thing, but when it happens without a diet, without increased physical activity, and rapidly, like 5 to 10 kilos in a few months, it's a warning sign. The pancreas, besides regulating blood sugar, produces enzymes essential for absorbing nutrients. When this function fails, the body loses muscle mass, fat, and energy, even if the person continues eating normally. Michael started noticing his clothes were getting loose and his face looked thinner. Along with that, he felt more tired day to day. 
This weight loss isn't just cosmetic, it's the body showing it's not able to use food to generate energy. Of course, rapid weight loss can also be linked to other issues, like thyroid disorders or uncontrolled diabetes. But when this symptom appears alongside abdominal pain, skin changes, and alterations in stools or urine, the combination demands immediate medical attention. Pancreatic cancer is sneaky because it combines subtle symptoms that, on their own, seem harmless. It's the repetition and combination of them that should raise a red flag. Michael ignored these clues for a few months, and that's the mistake many people make, waiting for the problem to go away on its own. In the next section, we'll talk about even less well-known signs, including one that directly affects your vision and mental clarity, and if ignored, can significantly delay diagnosis. This is one of the two symptoms almost no one associates with pancreatic cancer but could be crucial for catching it early. When Michael thought he had enough symptoms to worry about, he started noticing something else. His vision wasn't the same anymore. He, who always read without difficulty and drove confidently, began feeling he had to strain his eyes to see clearly. At times, letters seemed blurry, lights bothered him more, and to top it off, eye fatigue set in quickly, even after short periods of reading or using the computer. This is the fourth symptom that few people associate with pancreatic cancer, visual and cognitive changes. The connection might seem far-fetched, but it's direct. When the pancreas isn't functioning well, it can fail to properly regulate blood sugar levels, even in people who've never been diagnosed with diabetes. These blood sugar fluctuations, especially when they spike uncontrollably, directly affect the retina, which is extremely sensitive. The small blood vessels in this area can become inflamed, weaken, or even rupture, impairing visual clarity. But it's not just the eyes that suffer. These blood sugar swings also affect the brain. And that's where another issue comes in. Difficulty concentrating, memory lapses, and a constant feeling of a foggy mind, as if mental clarity has diminished. Michael noticed this when he started forgetting appointments, mixing up dates, and needing to reread messages several times to understand them. While dealing with these changes, another symptom started to manifest, and this one is among the most bothersome, intense and persistent itching on the skin. This isn't the occasional itch caused by dryness, allergies or insect bites. It's a constant itch that doesn't improve with creams, cold showers or antihistamines and tends to worsen at night. This itching is directly related to something we mentioned earlier, jaundice. When the bile ducts are blocked, Bilirubin and other bile compounds build up in the blood. These substances circulate through the body and irritate nerve endings in the skin, causing discomfort. It usually starts in the palms of the hands or soles of the feet, but can spread to other areas. Michael clearly remembered how the itching started subtly and, within a few weeks, was already disrupting his sleep. He started wearing looser clothes and lighter fabrics to try to ease the sensation, but nothing seemed to help. This is the third symptom that, when associated with the others, should raise concern. And as if that weren't enough, a new discomfort started becoming frequent. Abdominal bloating and nausea after fatty meals. This is the second symptom on our list. It happens because the pancreas, besides regulating blood sugar, produces digestive enzymes essential for breaking down fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. When this production decreases, the body can't properly digest certain foods, especially fatty ones. The result is that feeling of food stuck in the stomach, accompanied by discomfort, heaviness, and in some cases, the urge to vomit. Michael noticed this strongly during a family lunch. After eating a generous portion of fried chicken, he felt his stomach heavy and had to step away from the table to sit and wait for the sensation to pass. What he thought was just indigestion repeated several times until he started avoiding certain foods out of fear of feeling sick. This symptom, like others we've mentioned, can easily be mistaken for common issues like gastritis, reflux, or food intolerances. And that's why so many people delay seeking help. The danger lies in this false sense of security. By postponing investigation, pancreatic cancer continues to progress silently. And here, it's important to pause to talk about something crucial, the repetition and combination of symptoms. None of them, on their own, is proof of pancreatic cancer. But when two, three or more start appearing together, especially if they persist for weeks or months, your body is begging for attention. 
Michael, for example, was already experiencing recurrent abdominal pain, changes in skin and eye colour, alterations in urine and stools, weight loss, vision problems, persistent itching and poor digestion of fatty foods. Even so, he delayed scheduling a doctor's appointment. Why? He thought each symptom had a different cause and that they weren't connected. Many people make the same mistake. That's why understanding the connection between these signals is so important. The pancreas is a discrete organ but has vital functions. It regulates blood sugar and produces enzymes for digestion. Any significant change in these functions can trigger a cascade of symptoms in different parts of the body. Now before we talk about the last symptom on the list, I want to ask you, have you ever experienced more than one of these signs at the same time? Mild abdominal pain, skin changes, different stools, and at the same time persistent fatigue? If so, share it in the comments. Your experience might help someone else recognize the issue and seek help before it's too late. In the next moment, we'll get to the most common and, at the same time, most dangerous symptom because it's easy to underestimate. It might seem like just a consequence of a busy routine, sleepless nights, or aging, but when it comes with the other signs, it deserves extra attention. And for Michael, it was this last symptom that finally led him to the doctor's office, and from there, everything changed. For Michael, the symptom that finally made him seek help was one that many people ignore because they think it's normal with age, deep and constant fatigue. It wasn't the tiredness from a hard day's work or a sleepless night. It was as if his energy had been completely drained. From the moment he woke up, he already felt exhausted, as if he had run a marathon. Simple tasks like making breakfast or walking to the mailbox seemed to require much more effort than before. This is the first symptom on our countdown, and when combined with the others we've discussed, it demands immediate attention. In the case of pancreatic cancer, there are two main reasons for this extreme fatigue. The first is poor nutrient absorption. When the pancreas doesn't produce enough enzymes to properly digest food, essential vitamins and minerals aren't absorbed by the body. This means that even if you're eating normally, your body isn't getting the fuel it needs to generate energy and keep organs functioning. The second reason is the constant inflammatory process caused by the tumour's presence. Chronic inflammation creates internal wear and tear, making the body expend energy trying to fight the problem. This silent battle consumes important reserves and leaves the person without strength for daily tasks. Michael said that at first he thought the fatigue was just from sleepless nights. Then he attributed it to ageing. But when he started struggling even to climb a flight of stairs, he realised something was wrong. The problem is that fatigue on its own is a non-specific symptom, present in dozens of different conditions. That's why by itself it doesn't draw much attention. But when it comes with other signs, like persistent abdominal pain, jaundice, weight loss and poor digestion, the story changes completely. And it was by piecing all these clues together that Michael finally understood he needed to investigate. When he reported all the symptoms to his doctor, he underwent imaging and blood tests. The result confirmed the suspicion, pancreatic cancer in its early stage. And here's the most important point. Detecting it early made all the difference. He was able to start treatment quickly, which significantly increased his chances of controlling the disease. This real example shows that pancreatic cancer, despite being silent, does give signals. The problem is that they appear in isolation at different times and so they go unnoticed. It's like a puzzle. Only when we put all the pieces together does the picture come into focus. So let's recap all the symptoms so you have them clear in your mind. Extreme and persistent fatigue that doesn't improve with rest. Bloating and nausea after fatty meals due to poor digestion. Intense and persistent itching, especially in the hands and feet. Changes in vision and a foggy mind sensation. Rapid and unexplained weight loss. Changes in urine, darker, and stools, lighter or whitish. Jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes. Mild and recurrent abdominal pain that may improve when leaning forward. The combination of these symptoms, especially when they persist for more than a few weeks, demands immediate medical investigation. And here's an alarming fact. Over 90% of pancreatic cancer cases are diagnosed late precisely because people ignore or downplay these signs. 
If you or someone close to you is experiencing more than one of these symptoms, don't wait. A simple blood test, abdominal ultrasound, or CT scan can reveal changes in the pancreas before it's too late. Remember, with pancreatic cancer, time is a decisive factor. The earlier the diagnosis, the greater the chances of successful treatment. Michael is now under medical follow-up, maintaining healthy habits and getting regular checkups. His story is proof that recognising early signs can completely change the course of a diagnosis. And here's my final advice. Never underestimate persistent symptoms. No matter how small they seem or if they appear in isolation, the body always gives signals when something isn't right. The difference between ignoring and investigating can be the difference between living many years with quality or facing a difficult treatment with reduced chances. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these symptoms caught your attention the most? Have you noticed any of them in yourself or someone close to you? Share in the comments because your story might help others recognize important signs and seek help in time. And if this content made sense to you, like it, share it with family and friends, and subscribe to the Global Health Guide channel. Our goal is to bring clear, evidence-based information so you can take better care of your health and live longer and better.